How much quicker is petrol power than diesel power? Well, to find out, I'm gonna be racing the two top of the range BMW X7s. I've got the X7 M50D, this car, and the X7 M60i, that car. Now they look a bit different. This is the pre-facelift version, that is the post-facelift version. Let me know in the comments below if that facelift is much better looking than this car, or whether you hate them both, or love them both, I don't know. Anyhow, I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Now let me tell you about this car. So it's got a three litre straight six diesel, puts out 400 horsepower and 760 Newton meters of torquage. Drives all four wheels via an eight-speed automatic gearbox. And it's quite a heavy car, this. 2.4 tonnes. It's quite expensive as well. £87,000. Now let's find out about the M60i from its owner. It's Thomas from Wan Barn. Hello, Thomas. How are you? I'm very well, Matt. How are you? Well, I feel like I've got the slower car right from the get-go because I've got a diesel with three litres. And you have a what? I have an X7 M60i with a 4.4 litre V8, 530 horsepower and 750 newton meters. Okay, so you have got 130 more horsepower than me. I have some more torque. This is the number. I've forgotten what you said. <laughs> what did you say? How much torque has that got? <laughs> Reading from my phone, I can tell you 750 newton meters. I have 10, 10 more torque than you. What does your car weigh? 2,675 kilos. Whoa, so yours is heavier than mine. I bet it's more expensive as well. How much was it? I believe the retail at this was about £130,000, but I got it secondhand for about £100. And what is it worth today? Less. <laughs> Big, powerful BMW. We're out of the COVID silly season. Prices are doing what they normally do. They're going down so and there's nothing like a big powerful v8 bmw for some depreciation isn't there it's very true very very true sadly so you've got an m5 cs have you still got that car i do i love that car very much and what do you pay for that and what's it worth now so i bought that on collecting cars for about 110,000. who knows what it's worth now i think there's not enough in the country to make a proper guesstimate so I thought it might have gone for more than 110,000. I'm not aware of that place that you mentioned. The only place where you go to buy and sell cars is Carware, right? Want to sell your car quickly, easily, and for a fair price? Then head to Carware to have over 4,000 trusted dealers ready to bid on it in an online auction. First, enter your car's registration to get an instant approximate valuation. Then, if you want to proceed, give us some more details and upload some photos, and we'll help you set a fair reserve price for your car. That's the minimum amount you'd be happy to sell it for. Once you've done that, we'll enter your car into an online auction. When the auction's over, we'll let you know the result, and the dealer with the winning bid will be in touch to arrange easy payment and free collection of your car. 93% of sellers surveyed said they got the price they expected, or more, through CarWow. The best bit is, it's completely free. I put a link in the description of this video and the pinned comment to take you directly to CarWow, where over 4,000 dealers are ready to bid on your car. Or you can just click on the pop-out banner that should be appearing in the top right-hand corner of the screen now. Alternatively, just Google Help Me CarWow, and we will help you sell your car quickly, easily, and for a fair price. On with the video. Anyway, I want to say a huge thank you to DNA Auto Hoos for lending us this X7 and obviously to Tom for lending us his X7. Um, Tom, what is your favourite car out of all the ones you own? In fact, I've seen you do a video when you rate all your cars and I think I know what it is. So I'm not going to ask you, I'm going to tell you. It's 911 GT2 RS, isn't it? That is correct. And you prefer it than the Koenigsegg, don't you? I love the Koenigsegg and yes, I will always love Koenigsegg, but GT2 is the one for me. Are you getting another Koenigsegg? I can neither confirm nor deny that I'm getting another Koenigsegg. Is that because you do not know or because you just need to be quiet about it? Um, <laughs> a little bit from option A, a little bit from option B. <laughs> Are they a bit like that with you? A little bit kind of like, no, 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 a little bit of a dance. Yeah, maybe we will, maybe we won't. Is getting an allocation on a Koenigsegg like one of the hardest things in the car world? It was something I never thought I would do, that's for sure. But I've got to keep these things secret because I've got a YouTube channel now, Matt, and I've got to try and make the most of these. Ah, okay. So if people want to find out if you're getting a Koenigsegg, they need to go over to your channel, link in the description, and go follow there, link in the description, and then they can find out whether you get another Koenigsegg, link in the description. Or maybe one day you'll just like let us drag race it, yeah? You know I will. Brilliant.
Anyway, shall we get on with this drag race? But before we do, customary car wear sound check. So have a listen to my diesel matey boy. Can you even hear that with your windows up? Yes, I could. I almost wound them down a little bit. Do you want me to wind them down? It's not bad for a diesel. Let's have a listen to your petrol. Not much exhaust, lots of induction though. It's okay, it sounds better than this, but it's not incredible. You need an exhaust on that. Need an exhaust on all my cars, they're never loud enough. Let's race, let's race, let's do this, let's race. Three, two, one. Oh, Tom was asleep on the line. But it's pointless. Thumb me up. Damn! Well, you clearly won that, but I think you can do a better job on the launch bib a little bit earlier. You need to time it so it's actually leaving when the hands are going down. Give it another go, see if you can have a better launch. I shall give it my best, but at least I won one. I think that's the first race that a one barn car has won on car wow, <laughs> embarrassingly. And you had to wait until you had a 4.4 litre twin turbo V8 going up against a three litre diesel. Exactly, the Koenigsegg was not enough. <laughs> The thing about the Koenigsegg, in fact, if you want to watch that video, click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below, was that two-wheel drive just couldn't hook up, but once it was going, it was so fast. I'd love to do an in-gear rolling race with that against the Bugatti Chiron. That'd be interesting. Definitely up for that when we can. Three, two, one. That's a bit better, mate. That was a much better job there, Tom. So we got a good comparison between the two cars, but we all knew what the result was gonna be. However, let's just see how much quicker your car was by checking out the times. Actually, before we do the recap, let's just have one more chance for me to put in a better performance. So what we've done is fully loaded that X7. It's now got seven people on board, so six passengers. So Tom, what I'd like you to do is just get everyone to say roughly how heavy they are in the car. You don't have to, Tom, because you're the driver, so you're including the car's curb weight. Everybody in the car, just say how heavy you are, and we'll touch it all up on screen. Sam, 85. Lee, 106. Tommy, 92. Nick, 86. Rory, 87. Luke, 85. Okay, so that's how much extra weight we've got on board that car. This is the total number. Let's get on with the race and see if I can win now with that extra ballast. Three, two, one. So out the gate. Oh. <laughs> no, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Come on! No way! Yes! Yes! Do you know what? If everybody had forgotten to go for their morning poo, I would have won that. <laughs> Did everybody go for their morning poo? Yeah, yeah. just that second. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we set off. <laughs> Everyone has had a shit this morning, haven't they, in your car? Yeah. I was wondering what the smell was. <laughs> well, there we go. Now, let's do the thing. So then what exactly happened? Well, with the seven people on board, the M60i won just completing the standing quarter mile in 14.7 seconds. The M50D, without ballast, took 
14.8 seconds. But obviously, with just the single driver, the M60i was even quicker. Then, it completed the standing quarter mile in 13.9 seconds. Okay, now we're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The cars are in comfort mode and automatic mode for the gearboxes. We're going to race to the half mile. So, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Kick down. He's took long to kick down, I could see. Your car seemed to take ages to kick down. I saw it just like flounder and then it pitched its nose skyward and was off and kept on increasing its lead. But very slow, lazy kick down. Yes, it was very slow actually, especially compared to most of the cars I'm used to, but it is a very comfortable cruiser. So I suppose that's what it does. So let's get into sports mode and manual mode for the gearbox and run that again, okay. So third gear, I'll set the pace. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, I'm just getting hammered here. Let's re-add your ballast again. Let's go get all your passengers back in your car, Tom. Okay, you ready? So third gear, Tom, third gear. You ready? Get level. So three, two, one, go. <laughs> Pointless. <laughs> even with all of us. <laughs> he wants to do the brake test in the car. <laughs> Sam thinks it might be a bad idea. I bet he does. Right, now we've got everyone safely out of the car, we're going to do a brake test from 100 miles an hour. See which car will stop in the shortest distance. Now, if you're thinking about selling your car, you can do it through CarWow, it's dead easy. All you have to do is upload some photos of your car, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on it. To do that now, click on the pop-out banner up there or the link in the description below. Alternatively, just Google help me CarWow. We will help you sell your car. It's easy, completely free. And here comes the line for the brake test. I'm not sure that Tom pressed his brake pedal hard enough. Uh, Tom? I don't think you pressed your brake hard enough. I do appear to have naffed that up quite badly. <laughs> so what we'll do is another go at it, and this time absolutely smack it really hard and just keep on just piling on the pressure, okay? And we'll see if you can get closer. That's like two car lengths, maybe even three ahead of me, which is unexpected and very poor. Can't win them all. That's true. In fact, you know what, we should leave it there. No, seriously, let's let's have another go. Okay, let's try again and get yourself level. Here we go, 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 here we go. That was bang on the money that time. You did it perfectly by getting it close to me, but not quite close enough to actually win. I like that, Tom, well done. Got to give you something. <laughs> I needed something. I, I needed something. And that was the something that I needed. Listen, huge thanks to Tom. Go follow him at Wambarn. Link is in the description. See what kind of crazy cars he's got and what new Koenigsegg he might or might not be getting. If you want to watch some other videos, click on the video windows. And if you click on the CarWow logo, you can compare these cars quarter mile times to everything else we've ever drag raced in the CarWow Drag Race leaderboard. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.